Our next scene is from Brownie Mary, from Brett Delaney. This historical drama highlights the life of Mary Jane Rathbun, who, at the height of the AIDS crisis, illegally distributed cannabis-infused brownies to heal thousands of gay men in San Francisco, inadvertently becoming the face of the first medical marijuana movement in US history. Brent holds a PhD in philosophy and has published several academic articles in the fields of epistemology and metaphysics. The inspiration for Brownie Mary came to him from a single line written by cannabis activist Dennis Perrin, who said, Mary had lost her only daughter in an auto accident, and now she adopted every kid in San Francisco as her own. Please welcome Brent Delaney. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm honored to be here sitting among this year's talented Nickel Fellows. First, I want to thank the Nickel Committee, the Academy, Joan Y., Eric Heiserer, and all of the Nickel readers. Without readers, there would be no writers, or at least there'd be a lot of anxious ones. Con <laughs> Constantly wondering, should I have bolded my slug lines? <sighs> should I have written that 12-page monologue? <laughs> Am I worth anything at all? <laughs> and so I deeply value that reciprocal relationship. Second, I'd like to thank my partner, Lana, for inspiring me to write again and for reading all my first drafts. reading those first drafts despite the trauma it causes sometimes, but <laughs> I'd like to thank my family and my parents and my uncles for teaching me that love transcends every boundary. I'd also like to thank my own circle of benevolent readers, Alan Carls, Patrick Wang, Will Saunders, and Ilias Fursky. Finally, the, finally the, the story of Brownie Mary is one that immediately caught hold of my heart. I couldn't help but admire Mary Jane's rebellious spirit describing herself as the fat little old lady who got rid of those stupid marijuana laws. <sighs> but what struck me most was that her life offered a beautiful humanitarian parable, illustrating a theme that is both paradoxical and yet universal, that one can save oneself by saving others, that one can heal oneself by healing others. And I find this theme of community and helping others especially relevant as I stand here tonight in a place where Don and G. Nichols' humanitarian spirit lives on. And I'm so grateful to be supported by their legacy of generosity. In the scene you're about to see from Brownie Mary, Mary Jane is saying goodbye to a man named Jonathan, one of her children, as she would call him, who died from AIDS in 1991. And still, even in the face of death, Mary Jane's compassion knew no bounds, even if it did involve a little bit of cursing. Thank you so much. <laughs> 